Hello everyone, Leah here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Pro Art Master Stroke Series paintbrush. The one I have here is of the Master Stroke Series, but it's a special edition one by Terry Harrison, and it's a dagger brush shape size. So let's just get right into it. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how the paintbrush handles water retention what the bristles are like for bending and moving. And then I'm gonna show you it in action, in the real world kind of situation as I paint a landscape using just this paintbrush. As you can see, the paintbrush does not retain water very well. So then what is this made of? What is this? Who's pro art? What's going on? <laughs> The Pro Art Master Stroke series of brushes are a synthetic bristle brush that comes in a wide range of sizes and shapes. The Master Stroke line is considered to be actually a student grade quality paintbrush, which means the materials that it was made with are on the inexpensive side. For beginners and students, that actually means that it's a good thing just for price range. So if you're new to this and you're unsure about a brush shape or size it's a good price range to dive into buying brushes uh, pro art says that this type of brush is suitable for a wide range of media and not just watercolor so mixed media type materials that you might be interested in using like gouache or acrylic paint the dagger brush that I purchased is a part of a special partnership with the artist Terry Harrison Prior to researching this brush and finding out more about what type of bristles it was made with, I didn't actually know who Terry Harrison was. And for that, I am sorry. Um, he was an amazing watercolor artist. I mean, oh my goodness. Um, so this was a partnership with it he, um, to create a line of paintbrushes that he really liked using at the time. Um, and on his website, it describes this type of paintbrush, the Dagger brush as being one that is great for doing um, long grass, flowers, foliage, even uh, watercolor, like water ripples and when you're painting an ocean. But as you can see, it did not retain a lot of water. However, why would anybody want to buy this brush when you're doing watercolors and it doesn't retain water? And the reason is what you can see right now on the screen. The bristles being made of this a stiffer synthetic means that it actually bounces back really nicely. So I'm seriously bending the brush right here and you can see how hard I'm pushing down and watch this. It went back into place. It's not been misshaped or anything. So that means every time you paint with it, you're gonna be able to push down and come back up. It'll push down, snap up and be right as it was. Right now, I want to just show you a comparison. So I love Neptune watercolor brushes because they retain so much water. But as you can see, it is a soft bristle. And the dagger brush right here, which is their version of it, is not retaining the shape. It actually has a bit of a curve to it now that I've been pushing down on it. It's not super in focus for that, I apologize, but you can kind of get the gist of it. So right, it didn't bounce back all the way. Now let's watch this paintbrush in action, creating something other than tests. I also want to go over the pros and cons to having a stiff bristled synthetic paintbrush as a part of your um, watercolor paintbrush arsenal. Pro is the bounce back. It retains its shape. Con is, as you can see right now on the screen, I have to constantly go back and grab water. So I'll lay it down, grab more water, lay, <laughs> lay it down, go grab more water, lay it down, <laughs> grab more water, just to really get that watercolor flow. How to work around that con is to use this brush alongside other paint brushes. What's great, like a pro of the fact that it doesn't retain a lot of water is that when you wanna do dry brush effects, so it actually gives this dry texture to the way you paint, or if you wanna lay down a thick color and not have it spread out too far, um, you don't have that problem of having too much water in your bristles. Cause sometimes um, even uh, pros at watercolor 
can oftentimes add too much water and then you can make a mess on your page where with having a synthetic that doesn't retain a lot of water it has more control-ish situations personally i have way too many paintbrushes than are necessary like i do for almost all my art supplies but if i was a beginner and i was just getting started into watercolors and i wanted to try a brush shape that i wasn't familiar with this is actually a good one to get started with if you yourself think this shape and size is interesting the dagger this brush is about six to seven dollars depending on where you live in the world because of exchange differences where some brands if you're getting into a dagger brush for this size it can be 10 12 and more would I recommend this brush to those who are maybe not just beginners and those who have been painting for a while? Yes. I'm, a, I'm actually a huge fan of this paintbrush. I like the fact that when I want to do dry effect, I can easily pick up this paintbrush. I love with the dagger shape that I have that I have a variety of um, brush strokes that I can do with it. I also am a fan of the fact that it retains its shape so when I am doing things like um, leaves and uh, floral things I don't have to re-wet my paintbrush to shape it back into a point. When it comes to student grade art supplies it can be hit or miss. Watercolors can be really chalky or have very little pigment in them. Art supplies might not even last very long. Brushes could fall apart, um, bristles fall out kind of thing. But I have had this paintbrush for months now and it has stood the test of time so far. And I do not take care of my brushes whatsoever. I am so cruel to them. I feel sorry for them a little. Now I am about to reach the end of this video, so what is my conclusion on it? Which if you have not guessed already, I am a fan of the Masterstroke series. I like how they've been built, I like how they bend and snap back. I really like this shape, which is why I have left a link to it in the description section below. It is an affiliate link with Jackson's and just want you all to know in case you are not familiar, Jackson's affiliate links, if you shop through them. I got a small commission, but it's at no extra cost to you, which is what's so great about their program. I really hope this video was really helpful for you guys on your journey towards healing with art and finding the right materials and supplies for you. If you have any comments or questions, leave it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And until next time, stay magical.